The future, or at least the foreseeable future, will see ever greater reliance on touchless control technologies in the home for personal safety and convenience. Let's look at demonstrations of the very latest in voice control technology from two industry leaders, Amazon Alexa and Josh AI, and pick up some tips and tricks for getting the most out of these technologies. Incidentally, if I did set off one of your devices by saying their names, my apologies. And play the BGs. When thinking about a Crestron home, we often think about beautiful Horizon keypads, modern and stylish handheld remotes, and of course, the easy to use and attractive Crestron home app running on mobile devices and touchscreens. But equally important is what happens without anyone laying a finger on any of these devices. These are the so-called touchless abilities that make a Crestron home seem so magical. In this session, you're going to learn about ways to integrate touchless or touch less controls into your Crestron home projects. Not surprisingly, voice control is at the forefront of this. When the Amazon Echo hit the market a few years back, it was perhaps the first realization of a dream many in our industry had years earlier. A future where the smart home would feel like an extension of your brain, the your wish is my command smart home. And while no one thought the emergence of voice meant the end of physical tactile controls, we did recognize that it was an important shift in our industry and it was here to stay. So one of the things that Ben Slifka, a residential product manager at Crestron, will show you in just a few minutes is how easy it is to command a Crestron home using Amazon Alexa and Josh AI to pick a few of the most popular voice interfaces on the market. Now, while voice may be on the top of our minds, it's not the only way to achieve touchless controls. Sensors are another great option. So Ben will also demonstrate how to use the many wired and wireless sensors that Crestron offers, some you may not even be aware of, to make your Crestron home installations more intelligent and more efficient. And let's not forget, in the midst of a global pandemic, anything you can do to remove physical touch points in your clients' homes will only be seen as a positive. So without further ado, I'd like to turn this over to Ben. And make sure to stick around after Ben's presentation, because I'll be back to give a sneak peek into what we've got in store for the future of touchless controls. Hi. My name is Ben Slifka. I'm a product manager for Residential Solutions. When most people think of a smart home, the first thing that often comes to mind is a home that does things automatically with little to no user interaction. While most in the industry know this is just a small part of what integrators have to offer, you'll find that it's quite an important part when it comes to overall customer satisfaction with an install. I'd like to show you some ways that you can add touchless and touchless controls to your next Crestron home install to create that wow factor and it might just be a lot easier than you thought. One of the easiest ways to do this, and you likely already are, is to generate scheduled events. People have come to expect their thermostats to automatically adjust set points, their outdoor lights to turn on in the evening, but imagine how impressed they'll be the first time they see their living room shades automatically open and close with sunrise and sunset. Automatically transforming your customers' living spaces from natural light in the day to complete privacy at night is a breeze to program in Crestron Home. And with whisper quiet Crestron shade motors, the transition can happen completely unnoticed. Let me show you how easy this is. From the setup application, select step five, customize and schedule. Select schedule events, add a new event. I'm gonna call it sunrise shades up. Select this sun icon over here and choose sunrise. Select your shades. If you want, you can have this happen right at sunrise or slightly before or after. You can then do the same to close the shades around sunset. It's that easy. Another great way to add touchless control in a home is with triggers from existing devices or adding sensors. When the end user opens the door, triggers the occupancy sensor by the door, the home can welcome them by setting the thermostat, turning on the lights, opening the shades, playing music, or turning on a TV. This can be easily accomplished with Crestron door locks, this tiny Crestron occupancy sensor, the convenient Crestron wireless battery occupancy sensor, or this wireless window and door sensor. Let's look at setting up a triggered scene from an occupancy sensor to turn on lights or open shades depending on the time of day. From the setup application, select step five, customize and schedule. Select customize actions and events. 
Find the occupancy sensor that you want to trigger this event. Select occupancy, select scene, select enable time of day actions, select morning, then select the scene all open. Do the same for day. Select evening and select the scene all on. Do the same for night and you're done. With the recent additions of sequences to Crest Run Home, you can take this even further by stepping through multiple events based on a single trigger. Wireless window and door sensors are a great option for people who like to sleep with the windows open when the weather's nice. You can shift set points or turn off the thermostat until the windows are closed again. And it's easy to do. From the setup application, select Step 4, Create Scenes. Select Configure Climate Scenes. Add a new climate scene. I'm going to call it Windows Open. Select the wrench and choose the zone you want to adjust. Set the mode to off. Make another Windows Close scene that sets the mode back to auto for that zone. Go back and select Step 5, Customize and Schedule. Select Customize Actions and Events. Select the door and window sensor. For opened, select the scene Windows Open. For closed, select the scene Windows Closed. Now you can rest easy with your windows open, knowing your heat won't be running all night long. Probably one of the most exciting ways to add touchless control and take the user experience to the next level is with voice control. Being able to control all the smart devices in your home just by saying what you want is an experience your customers won't want to miss out on. Setting this up in Crestron Home is quick and easy. I'm going to walk you through setting up an Alexa in Crestron Home. Go into Installer Settings, select System Control Options. Select Voice Control Settings. Select your voice control provider. In this case, we're going to use Amazon Alexa. Click the link and copy the provided registration code. Now click Register. Enter in your account info to link to your Amazon account, and you're almost there. You'll then be prompted to select the Alexa account type. Choose Smart Home. Next, open the Alexa app on your customer's phone. Search for the Crestron Home Automation skill and enable it. Now just say, Alexa, discover devices. And Alexa will automatically find devices you set up in Crestron Home. Devices are by default set up for voice control, but individual devices can have voice control disabled in settings. Crestron Home pushes the best device names possible to Alexa, but Alexa is quite literal. You'll need to say things like, Alexa, turn on the bedroom lights. OK. And ensure it's said properly, down to the plural of lights. And Alexa, open the bedroom shades. OK. Here's Crestron Home Automation, opening the shades in the bedroom. And make sure you say it plural, shades. Because of this, I highly recommend doing the following in the Alexa app. Set up groups and set up routines. By setting up groups, you can tell Alexa what room the Echo is in and what devices are in the room too. It will allow the end user to say things like, Alexa, turn on the lights, and have the lights in that room turn on. By setting up routines, you accomplish two goals. You're able to accomplish multiple things with one command, and you're able to use simple commands like good night and good morning. You can even trigger things like getting the weather, a news briefing, or have Alexa give custom responses. I set up my good night routine to turn off the interior lights, close the shade, set the thermostat to 68 degrees, and play ambient sleep sounds. Alexa, good night. Sweet dreams, Ben. Your demo is going great. Thank you. Which sound would you like? Forest sounds. Now I'm ready for bed. Alexa, stop. Some other things you can accomplish with Alexa are playing music, ordering products off Amazon, geofencing with Alexa app for doing things like controlling climate, Alexa Guard for detecting broken glass, smoke alarms, playing back vacation schedules for lighting, and voice recognition. So Alexa can call your phone when you ask her for help to find it. Crestron Home also easily supports other popular voice control options like Josh AI and Google Assistant. Google Assistant support is similar to Alexa support, but Josh AI is quite different. Josh AI was purpose designed with home control in mind. They pride themselves on privacy-first approach and natural language processing. With Josh AI, your commands don't need to be as literal as they do with Alexa. Josh AI understands multiple ways to refer to devices and events. It can compensate for things like dialect, and it's great at knowing the room or area you're in, so you don't have to remember all the room names in a large house. Josh AI also understands compound commands and follow-up commands, meaning you can talk to it more naturally. Josh AI accesses our API 
and a pull approach versus the push approach of Google Assistant and Alexa. So setup is quick and easy through their web application. Once you have Josh AI account set up, go to settings and authorize the device. In the Crestron Home Setup applications, go to Installer Settings, System Control Options, Web API Settings, enter this authentication token in the Josh AI portal, and you're done. You'll want to place the Josh AI micros into the rooms they're physically in. There's additional optimization you can do in the web application, but the system's ready to go. OK, Josh, lock the door, turn on the lights, open the shades, and set the thermostat to 72 degrees. The bedroom lock is now locked. You got it. The bedroom lights are now on. Opening the shade. Setting the target temperature to 72 degrees. OK, Josh. It's too bright in here. Now much dimmer. Josh AI can also use scenes with custom names and custom responses. OK, Josh. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Whatever methods you choose to offer touchless controls to your customers, you can be sure that Crestron Home is going to make it easy to do. Thanks, Ben. That was great. You shared some really helpful tips for our dealers to try out on their upcoming projects. So, you've seen just how easy it is to incorporate voice into your Crestron Home projects. How in just a few minutes, your clients can control lights, shades, climate, and trigger complex scenes using only their voice. You've seen how motion and door sensors can simplify your clients' lives. So what's next? To us, Crestron Home is more than just a home automation application. We view it as a platform that our partners can build on to create some truly amazing experiences. For example, this month we are publicly launching a software development kit, or SDK, which will allow dealers, partner manufacturers, and authorized service providers to create device drivers that can be used within Crestron Home. In fact, these drivers can even be made available on our hosted driver portal found at drivers.crestron.io. And with a brand new technology called Crestron Home Extensions, for the first time, drivers can include a custom UI that will be rendered natively by the Crestron Home app on mobile devices and touchscreens. For the full scoop on Crestron Home Extensions, be sure to check out the dedicated Crestron Home session led by our senior product manager, Jason Oster. This software development kit, including Crestron Home extensions, opens Crestron Home to all kinds of new experiences, and we're excited to see what our partners deliver in the coming months. Touchless controls is just one area that stands to benefit. For the first time, drivers will be able to interface with advanced sensors, sensors that provide valuable information to the end user, and also sensors that can trigger actions directly within Crestron Home. We've also been busy enhancing the core capabilities of Crestron Home to give our dealers more flexibility for reacting to more basic sensors like motion detectors. Key to all of this are something we call Crestron Home sequences. Sequences, first delivered in July, will gain additional abilities with each subsequent Crestron Home release, and later releases will add support for conditional statements. With these enhanced sequences, the ability to provide a touchless experience with Crestron Home will be limited only to your imagination. As for voice control, we've got some things in the works there as well. In the coming months, we will be significantly expanding the Crestron Home APIs that we share with select partners. These new APIs will provide access to nearly every aspect of the Crestron Home experience and will, for example, enable greatly enhanced voice control. We're looking forward to working with our partners to bring these more expansive voice options to the market in the near future. All of this to say the future of the touchless home is bright and only figures to grow in importance and adoption. With the tools provided by Crestron Home now and those coming next, these are exciting times to be a Crestron dealer. I hope you found this session on touchless controls with Crestron Home interesting and informative. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of Crestron Next.